the journey to achieving lasting health change in Africa. Over the past 60 years, AMREF's efforts have reached about 120 million people, 80 of whom are women and children, with programs in 35 African countries. In Uganda, AMREF operates in 57 districts and is implementing projects that focus on maternal and child health, HIV, tuberculosis and malaria, water, sanitation and hygiene, capacity building for health workers, health system strengthening, research and advocacy. In 1987, when AMREF started out, our project implementation plan was an emergency relief response for a country that had been ravaged by war. AMREF came up and uh, they partnered with the districts and to see that they improve uh, uh, the sanitation and, and access to water in this area, the communities. Now, this area is uh, on the Kampala Gulu Highway and uh, it is in a sub county called Butuntumura. This sub county has over 30,000 people, and we expected the 30,000 people to access clean and safe water from, 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 uh, from this point. As stability returned to Uganda, our strategy evolved from crisis rescue missions to building and implementation of structures from the ground up. Now, more than 30 years later, in a challenged yet flourishing Uganda, we realize that our mission must yet again evolve to focus on how to build on past successes and achieve lasting health change. And now, with a firm focus on the future, our goal is to never turn back. Building on past success, the 2018 to 2022 strategy. Uganda's health sector registers significant success and progress every year, but still has fundamental gaps. These are what informed our 2018 to 2022 strategy, dubbed the Big Five. This is a new strategy based on securing our wins, accelerating improvements, and building on our achievements to ensure sustainability. The Big Five, if implemented effectively, will ensure that we are several steps closer to implementing AMREF's mission and vision. So what are the Big Five? To innovate and accelerate health training and access. To educate health workers across Africa. To increase financial protection for healthcare expenses for vulnerable communities in Africa. To give communities access to high quality health and well-being. To increase the awareness of and demand for health as a human right. The Big Five in Action Our first pillar in the Big Five is to innovate and accelerate health training and access. With its implementation in schools like Chambogo Nursing College, we have realized the power and access to skill that e-learning unlocks. And as such, we would like to scale it by helping more institutions access functional e-learning approaches. First of all, it has helped us personally. Personally, you don't have money to go for no two years course, three years course. So we have benefited as a district. And it helped us to improve our service delivery in the community. Because you're in a class for two, three weeks, you go back to serve the community. You don't leave a gap in the community where you are serving. Like, like, like for me, I did a course in management. And it has brought me this far. That's where I'm sitting now as a manager, as an administrator. We have very many midwives who want to benefit from this program, but the limitation is there. Our pledge and our prayer is that this program be extended so that all interested midwives benefit from this very important program. Uganda has a limited number of medical personnel, one that can't be doubled instantly. As such, AMREF spearheaded the implementation of a government system aimed at tackling this problem. The Village Health Team Method. A community health training system that recruited agile, ordinary citizens to become frontline health and wellness champions and rally others towards better health practices. While they can't replace medical personnel, VHTs compensate for the absence of health professionals. 
Amanya gange nzeru sikiyaga mukankulanga kolanga VHT ku chalo cha nongo village. Ba VHT aba amulefu bakola emirimu jino wa manga. Bakola omulimu ogwo kuchalira aba chala na abana babwe mu makaga abwe ngaba basomesa ku byobulamu. Tubasomesa engeri je basobola okwetekera tekere ebyokulya ebisobola okulabisa obulungi abana babwe nenga tebabiteeka mu sente nnyingi okugeza okulima we mvendi bawaka ne tubasomesa engeri je bazifumbamu okuziwa abana no kubera ne mmere emala abana basobola okulya mirundi ejitaka wansi we satolunaku As the system has proved successful our aim is to spread its reach to the corners of the country as such we will need to train and equip many more VHTs. The second pillar of the Big Five is to educate health workers across Uganda. VHTs are not the perfect solution to the absence of health workers. As such, we must increase the number, the skills mix and productivity of health workers. While AMREF has trained over 12 million health workers across the continent, the next few years will be focused on doubling that effort. We have seen over the last three decades the fundamental difference made by well-trained medical personnel in a community. They are indeed directly linked to reducing infant mortality rates, maternal mortality rates, etc. I've had some several trainings from AMREF. One of the things I learned was the testing algorithm. By that I mean the testing procedures for HIV. They were properly taught on how to test HIV using different methods of one of testing kits. So that one has helped us a lot to detect errors, correct our own internal quality controls, it helped me to make sure that I stick to the guidelines that are meant to be followed when one is carrying out an HIV test. Training also includes mentorship and coaching for the current medical personnel. We urgently need to extend e-learning services to health workers so that they continuously brush up on their skills and learn new medical trends. The third pillar of the Big Five is to give communities access to high-quality health and well-being. Skilled health professionals are just one piece of the puzzle of comprehensive health care. Health workers are trained in vain if they lack the necessary facilities, equipment and supplies. This is our heart patient department. As you are seeing, clients are very many. This space is squeezed. This is our main store. And the store is very squeezed, cannot accommodate our things. As you are seeing, some of our drugs are here cannot be entered in the store. And in this outpatient, we don't have a laboratory. All our things, we do it from the table there. As you see, the enrolled midwife doing. We are also having a challenge. Our toilet is now getting full. And this client, they are using it like that. They are the risk of getting infection. The state of many health centers presents the cruel irony that one can pick up an infection in a place where they're supposed to get treated for it. And Marek also painted for us the place. The ceiling board was almost falling on our what? On the mothers. Amrev managed to what? To fix for us that wire mess. Huh? That's why you see it now very clean. The old delivery bed was really too old and uh, we decided to put it outside. Now Amrev brought for us this one here, which is so good and it is portable. Amrev has constructed and renovated health centers as well as provided essential equipment and supplies for many desperate communities. However, the need is still great. The number of dilapidated health centers that lack the most basic supplies is still alarming. The dire need for certain health relief and health centers in many communities can be solved by addressing the desperate living conditions. Dirty water and poor sanitation alone account for a larger percentage of the day-to-day -day ailments in impoverished communities. This is the motivation behind AMREF's WASH programs. WASH activities deliver access to clean water, modern toilet facilities, and overall improved hygiene and sanitation. 
Wherever wash activities have been implemented, the residents' quality of life has improved, and that's why these services must be extended far and wide. Tuliba sanyu funyo, ulwe chitongole cha mlefu, project ya tule tila kuchitundu, ya chituwe nyo buchafu, wali bu itiride, nga bantu wako zibate kwa uvi mbuvera, na wabu kasuka na echa mkusamulu nye ntikati, tuso voloko esa project yenu, neba ngekende zezo buchafu, Low-income households aren't the only communities AMREF is looking out for. Quality healthcare solutions are also catered to other vulnerable members of the community, such as expectant mothers who need proper antenatal care, immunization for babies and toddlers, reproductive health solutions for youth, and care for HIV-AIDS patients. Even with so much done, each of these groups still has such a vast set of needs, and many of them are still going unmet. To the list of vulnerable communities, AMREF has now added refugees. Local government bodies in host communities intimate that their core mandate is to care for nationals. As such, little to no help is extended to refugees. AMREF has had to take up this mantle. The key concern now is to make sure that the programs that these communities have grown to depend on are sustainable. The fourth pillar of the Big Five is to increase awareness of and demand for health as a human right. In many of the communities where AMREF works, people take whatever health care they can get. As such, it has become imperative that we educate people to demand health care as a human right. It is for this reason that AMREF has become an active and vocal advocate. Our health system advocacy has seen a number of gains. Our advocacy in the 2018-2019 Uganda National Budget Dialogue saw the reproductive health allocation increase from 2.4 million to 4.2 million US dollars. With additional support from policymakers and associated institutions, AMREF can continue to contribute to the pursuit for better health policies and frameworks. The final pillar of the Big Five is just as ambitious. To increase financial protection for vulnerable communities in Africa. Many families in Africa sometimes have to pick and choose between getting sufficient medical care for a loved one or basic needs. The goal of this decade, therefore, will be to make health care not just affordable, but to reduce out-of-pocket expenses as well. We're confident, therefore, that with the right partners, we can accelerate the progress of our next big task, the approval of a national health insurance bill in Uganda, which will put us on track to achieve universal health coverage by 2030. So why should you partner with us? Because at AMREF, we are intentional about employing and training fit-for-purpose talent who are cross-culturally diverse and committed to getting their hands dirty to get the job done. We are engineering each of our systems to improve cost efficiency and effectiveness by trimming the fat on administrative expenses. We are embracing new innovations in technology to improve impact measurement and tracking as well as documentation. We are inculcating a culture of speed and expediency. We are focusing on transparency and accountability by running rigorous internal and external audits as well as maintaining an active whistleblower policy. AMREF Health Africa wishes to thank all its partners and stakeholders who've walked this journey with us. We look forward to implementing our plans and strengthening our relationships as we work towards increasing sustainable health access for communities in Africa through solutions in human resource for health, health service delivery, investments in health with a goal of building a better Uganda and Africa.